So once you have your idea and you've done sort of the, the critical stress tests of, of Googling it and assessing is there a market for it and may people potentially want a solution for some kind of problem that your idea or solution can, uh, can deal with. Then if you actually have many ideas, it may be worth assessing which of your ideas or which fine-tuning uh, of your idea is, is the best concept or the best idea uh, to bring uh, to life. And this can often be difficult if you just sit in your head and compare things and say, oh, this is good uh, based on this, but on the other hand, this is also good based on that. And I like in these situations to sort of try to break it down into different metrics. And I sometimes do this using the concept criteria matrix. And in the concept criteria matrix, you typically make a matrix, you outline your different concepts or your different ideas that can solve some kind of problem. And then you choose different criteria that they should be benchmarked against. One example could be looking at safety. Is your idea, is it, is it safe for users? Obviously cost is almost always an issue. Is it, is it low cost, then it's typically good. And efficacy. Does your idea actually solve something in a very efficient uh, and good way? Then it, it's relevant to assign weights. How important are these criteria uh, in, in relation to each other? And now I just took a, uh, a hypothetical example and, and I said that safety was very important, low cost was not super important, and efficacy was, was fairly important on a scale from one to five. And then having this concept criteria matrix forces you to sort of go in and look at your different ideas and evaluate them only on one parameter. So I did this with concept one. And in this case, I said it's, it's, it has a medium safety. It has a fairly low cost uh, and the efficacy is, uh, is okay. In comparison to concept two, I said safety is awful, but it's very cheap and it's quite effective. And then I looked at concept three, I said it's quite safe, it's, it's quite expensive, it doesn't have low cost, but efficacy is very good. And if you make a note, you will see that each of these concepts all got, you could say, 10 points in this case. And this is how the mind often works. It has a difficulty weighting the different points on how important is it to have five points in efficacy versus having five points in low cost. Um, but it's easy to do on paper. It's easy to actually calculate it and quantify it on some kind of relative scale. So what you then do is you calculate the total and what you will quickly be able to see in many cases is that because you weight some of these different criteria differently and, and some are extremely important, others are more nice to have, you will simply find that the, that the final score of your different ideas will be significantly different, allowing you to sort of make a more rational decision and saying, well, if you sum it up, all these different criteria, concept three is actually the one we should go for. It has, it has uh, the most optimal uh, safety, cost, and efficacy in sort of a more uh, holistic uh, assessment.